as the climate lexicon begins to flutter with discourse of an even more extreme reactionary nature, there comes time for an unbiased observer to say enough. The Green Deal, California's no-gas cars by 2035 plan, the restrictions they want to place on the world and will advocate for soon, are completely asinine. After numerous predictions which the news media ignored, the forecast has borne out. The economic, commercial, industrial, travel, and other aspects of the slowdown worldwide due to COVID-19 has heated the planet. This is one of the top journals in the world. The things that many people wish to shut down are contributing to aerosol cooling of the atmosphere, albedo, cloud reflectivity, and the more we shut down, the warmer the planet will get. This seems utterly contrary to everything most people have ever been told about climate change, but it's the facts. It's the first time anything like this has actually been tried. Outside of mathematics on paper, that is. And this is something that could have been foreseen and, as I mentioned, was in numerous cases. Not by anyone who gets grant money to discover how terrible carbon dioxide is, mind you, but they did exist. And the science on this is not new. We've known for months now since the CO2 bias, oversensitivity, and uncertainty numbers came out that eventually this focus on pollution-driven warming was going to snitch on them. Now it has. It's been a ridiculously atrocious year for climate science. We've recently seen it in the oceans, with confirmations of the planet's defense mechanism, and it's really just about asking whether it's the northern melting or it will be the southern melting that will cool the planet first, not if it will occur. The ocean currents of most importance and the large circulations are already changing, and we're still waiting for Yale's cold climate bomb to be unleashed by the Beaufort Gyre's cold fresh water. Polar melt story fell apart as well. I know I didn't convince many of my regular viewers to watch Michael Moore's documentary, Planet of the Humans, like I'm bad at this or something, but he did flip on the global warming folks and destroyed their alternative energy paradigm. And credit where it's due, he's right. But please, do wait a bit before telling Elon he's having a rough alternative energy week as it is. Dozens of papers crescendoed this year into our plea to the AGU to refocus on answering the greatest uncertainty in climate models with the fastest growing arm of it. It's not just oversensitivity to CO2, causing bias in the models, hiding uncertainties about clouds and climate responses, but the large-scale coupling that includes the stratosphere. Most of that forcing comes from the sun, the answer to the uncertainty they told everyone was climate certainty just years ago. When the AGU begins dedicating considerable time at its fall meeting to a topic, it's real, and so are the 500 citations in my textbook on the subject. How the sun touches every aspect of this world, often in ways that you never imagined, but can easily understand with simple electromagnetic science. The truth is, the greatest solar activity of the last 12,000 years just ended about 15 to 20 years ago, and it's about a 20 to 30 year lag out of the ocean. Volcanic cooling hasn't been this low in centuries, giving that higher solar activity a freer path to the surface. The magnetic field of Earth has been changing and has played an enormous role in this as well. The certainty they've told us about in climate isn't so certain, but the answers are there waiting in the sun. The alternative energy paradigm to the modern world isn't so great either, and the changes we already see in the oceans are going to trigger an ice age on this planet. But if we shut down, it warms the planet even faster, and that's because it was never about CO2 or industry. We can have both. We can still fight pollution, but for the right reasons. It's paramount we understand the 180 this planet's atmosphere is about to pull on us and the real causes of the changes we've seen. I'll see you tomorrow for the daily update. Be safe, everyone.